It may uh, seem sometimes that uh, I go to a lot of random fishing places, and a lot of times it is very random, but sometimes I do have strategy to some of the creeks I go to and streams, especially the streams, the smaller places. Um, just like in the lakes and your bass fishing, you know, certain times of the year, you know, uh, or maybe certain types of weather, it's better. Um, a lot of these creeks that I go to, um, I, I try to save them for certain days or plan them out. This one here I've been to several times. I like it. It's, it's, a, it's got a couple of good deep holes in a rather small creek. So there's a couple of deep holes under the train tracks where the fish is going to hold up. But also this is a smaller creek where it, whenever it floods, it goes down quicker. So a lot of my other big creeks are flooded. This one's is not uh, flooded. It's not all the way down, but it's back down a lot less. A lot lower so you know I, i'm thinking what's well, a good time to hit this one up and i also have these um fisher's choice super worms um that someone sent me like long time ago i don't even know when i've had them for a while and um i was cleaning up some stuff and i saw them and i was like i need to use these and and i thought and today would be perfect so i just opened the can it's sealed it was sealed up just open them and we're just gonna try to use these and uh try to catch hopefully a few different species and uh, see what's active today Ooh, where they look fresh. Ooh, just dropped one out. So I'm gonna stick one on the hook and we're just gonna go weightless. It might get bit off if there's a lot of small fish. But a little pocket right there ought to have some fish in there. Yep, get a little tug, there he is. Fish on. Y'all got him? Number one is a shiner. Oh, he knocked my bait off. I saw some other fish swimming around, so we got a little shiner. And I'll stick another bait on there. I might, I might just cut it in half and stick it on there. The water is still a little murky, and it may even be a little bit cold still. Uh, but I think there should be some sunfish active also. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw him come and get it. Nice. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of the tree. Boom! There we go. This is what I'm looking for. There we go. Everybody's saying I gotta say it too, I guess. Bluegill. So this is what I wanted to see some different fish active. And hopefully there's more than just bluegill and shiners, but that's a nice pretty bluegill. There's one. Yes, 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 green sunfish, first one of the year. That marks like the beginning of active fishing for me. <laughs> That's what I look for in the creeks. I look for some active green sunfish, and I know that if they're out, then like that, that means it, the creeks are good to go. Like fish should be really active. All the species should be out and about. All right, got a picture for Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can follow me at Creek Fishing Adventures. I love these green sunfish fish. They're they're like they're just a creek fish. That's just like what they are. They're pretty body, got a big old mouth, and real aggressive. They're they're not super aggressive yet, but if they're out and hitting, that usually means that that's a really good sign. It means the water's has warmed up good. There's one. There's one. What we got here is a hybrid. I do believe this looks to me like a mix between a green sunfish and a bluegill. See, the mouth is not as big as a green sunfish, but it's it's bigger than a bluegill, and the body's a little different. Pretty sure that's what that is, and they do that. They'll do that in these creeks and stuff. Oh, there's another one. Oh, what is that? Is that a... Yes, it's a bass. Yes. Hey, I was reeling that one in and the bass hit it. They like to hit something moving. Man, we have already got bluegill, shiner, green sunfish, and bass. Four species. This is turning out pretty good. And this is what I was looking to see if all these fish are out there getting active. Thank you, Mr. Little Largemouth. Well, I'm back at it with the same little uh, mealworm things, where those worms are. Uh, different creek, but it's another one I fish a lot. And it's been warm the last few days. So this is only about three, no, it's maybe a four or five days later. And um, I'm hoping the sunfish are active in here and the water looks really good. So I'm ready to get in here. 
Fish on. What is it? What is it? Hey, it's a red breast. A little red breast. Okay, that's what I was wanting to catch. No, wait. wait. Yeah, it's a red breast. It's real pale though. Okay, sunfish. That's what I'm glad to see. Oh! Yeah, whoa, what is this? I was reeling it in, he hit it. Nice. Wait, is that a... That's a nice green sunfish. I was reeling it in, and it came up and smoked it. Yeah, that's a pretty one there. He's kind of chunky, too. Green sunfish are definitely out. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I was looking for. Nice. I didn't think a crease bass would really hit it. I wasn't sure. Maybe I should be throwing a lure today. They are a lot more active all of a sudden. Well, it's been a few warm days, so I think they've really turned on these last few days. Nice crease bass. Once again, I was just, I threw it out there. I got a little tug and I was pulling it in and this little crease bass hit it. One of my favorite little fishes. This time I got a little 164 ounce jig head. I'm just kind of twisting them on there, give me enough weight to cast it. Probably could catch some stuff off lures today, but they're hitting this thing pretty good, so I want to use these up. There he is. Nice. What is that? Man, they are getting aggressive. Oh man, that's another green sunfish. Just really colorful though. The, oh, look at that one. Look at the uh, orange fins on these. That's a pretty one. Oh, oh, there's a fish. Hey, oh, nice. Colorful red breast. Wow, nice. I'm getting their uh, spring colors on. Oh, oh, yes. That's the fish I'm looking for. Oh, man. There's a nice large mouth and a turtle following my uh, red breast. It was like a 12, 13 inch large mouth and this big old turtle were following it. Check out this red breast. That's what I'm looking for. Well, I was looking for green sunfish, but also red breast. Man, that's cool. That's going on Instagram for sure. That's a cool fish right there. So man, these fish are starting to come alive. That's awesome. I watched that one eat it. <laughs> I saw this little green sunfish coming up the bank right here. I just dropped the lure right in front of his face. He just comes out and eats it. <laughs> Got it. Just missed this fish, whatever it is. Came back for it. Oh, it's a Oh man, look at that shiner. He's got all his colors on too. I don't, you don't see them this colorful very often, or at least I don't. Wow, that is really cool. I'm sure it's a spawning thing too, springtime. Everything's getting ready to spawn and stuff, but um, it may be like a male or female thing. Also has all the that's a spawning thing, those little tubercles. Man, that is a cool looking shiner. All right, that's gonna do it for me in my little uh, 100 yard stretch. 
Thank you for whoever sent me these super worms, but I'm gonna go ahead and feed them to the fish. They, uh, they did pretty good. They definitely got bites. They can come off easy, but it, if it's something that you can keep in a can for a long time and uh, save them for whenever, that's just pretty good. Well, my research is done and it's official. It's creek fishing time. The fish are back to being active. Um, I mean, you can fish creeks all year round for your certain fish, but this type of fishing where you're gonna come here and catch a few different species of sunfish, some bass, some of this, some of that, they don't get active till it gets warm. And uh, I always look for those green sunfish. When those green sunfish are out, I know that everything's out and biting. <laughs> well, whether I'm out in the country or right in the middle of town, this right here today was 40 minutes. That's what I love to do. Can't stop, catch a few fish. You can do it after work, doing a lunch break. Just got a little bit of time. Gotta just stop, cast in, catch a few fish. So thanks for watching.